Hello students, welcome to this exciting lesson about Venn Diagram. Today, we will be learning about how to use Venn Diagram to represent sets and subsets. So let's get through it. But really, what is this Venn Diagram? A Venn Diagram which was first introduced by John Venn is a diagram that shows relationship among different finite sets. So let's have a given diagram here. Okay. So this is the first example. So I have here the sets of fruits in the universal sets. Okay, first let us write all the uh, the universal sets here. But let us observe first what is the illustration of Venn diagram. Kung nakikita nyo dito yung Venn diagram, meron siyang uh, universal set. Okay, sometimes the shape is rectangle, the shape is square. So, basta kung ano man yung mga elements na nasa loob dyan, that is a universal set. Okay? Inside the universal set, merong dalawang circle. Okay? This two re circle represents a given elements. For example, set A contains the elements of these fruits. And these fruits are apple, grapes, orange. And set B contains the elements of these two fruits. The two elements are banana and strawberry. And nasa labas ng dalawang sets is the papaya and atis. So, it is possible na yung mga elements ay nasa labas ng dalawang sets. Okay, basta nasa loob siya ng universal set. So, let us try to list down all the elements na nakikita nyo po sa loob ng, ven, sa loob ng ating universal sets. So, the first element that we'll be going to list down is the apple. Okay? Nasa loob siya ng set A. So, universal set, no? Also, we have grapes. Sulat natin siya as word. We also have orange. Then, we have uh, banana. Okay, nasa set B. Banana. We also have at, uh, duhat, no? Sorry, we don't have duhat. It's strawberry pala, no? It's strawberry. Strawberry. So, nasulat na natin yung dalawang nasa loob ng uh, circles, set A and B. Then, sulat naman natin to. This is Atis. And finally, the papaya. So, we also have papaya. Dito ko na lang dito. And these are the universal sets. How many elements do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we have 7 elements o 7 prutas na nasa loob ng universal set. Okay, so how about set A? No, ano ni mga elements sa set A? We all know that the set A contains apple. Also, we have grapes. We also have orange. Okay, if I ask you to write the elements of set B, so sulat mo lang naman kung ano nasa loob ng set B, which is banana and strawberry strawberry. Okay, so, since Venn diagram ang pinag-uusapan natin, may dalawang uri kasi ng Venn diagram. Yung isa ay joint sets, yung isa naman ay disjoint sets. Since itong dalawang circle na to, na nag-represent sa bawat sets, ay magkahiwalay, so we could say that A and B, A and B, are disjoint, disjoint sets. This joint sets. Okay? Bakit? Because they they have no elements in common. Okay? So, dahil wala silang elements, they have they have no elements in common. Kung titignan mo kasi, yung elements ng A no na apple grapes orange wala namang elements dun sa B so walang naulit na elements so therefore they are called disjoint set from the illustration magkahiwalay ang ating dalawang sets okay let's proceed to another one so what about this given uh, Venn diagram okay first let us identify the universal set so the universal sets in this case are we have one 2 and 3. So, sulat natin. We have 1, 2, and 3. 
Also, we have set B, 4, 5, and 6. Ito yung mga elements set B, 4, 5, and 6. And finally, we have set A, 7, and 8. Actually, pasok, pa rin, pasok naman si 4, 5, and 6 set A, yan, no? 7, and 8. And identify natin yung mga elements na set A. So, what are the elements of set A? Of course, since set A ay itong circle na to, itong diagram na to, ibig sabihin lahat ng elements na nandyan sa loob ay part ni set A. So, we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Kasama itong set B kasi set B ay nasa loob ni set A. Set B contains the elements of 4, 5, 6. Okay? So, look at the set B. Ito lang naman yung set B natin. So, 4, 5, and 6 lang yung elements niya. And I want you to take a look for the set A and set B. No, from the previous discussion, we talk about the proper subsets or improper subsets or the types of set subsets. We all know that B is a proper subset of A. Bakit? Since the elements of B na 4, 5, 6 ay nasa loob ni A, 4, 5, 6, okay? Ibig sabihin si set B ay proper subset of set A. Then, we could say that A and B, kapag ganyan, in this case, pwede natin siyang tawagin as joint sets. Okay? Joint set because they have common, they have common elements. Okay? Ano yung common elements nila? Ang common elements sa set A, set B is si 4, 5, and 6. Okay? So, makikita mo yun sa illustration na si set B ay nasa loob ni set A. Automatically, alam natin na set A, part din niya itong mga elements na to. Ganun din si set B. Okay? And these are the two types of sets in Venn diagram. So, repeat, uh, review natin, no? Recap. So, we already already defined the Venn diagram. It is a relationship among finite sets. And these are an example. Okay? So, the fruits, these fruits, are an example of uh, these joint sets because naka, uh, they have no elements in common, basically. Also, this one is a joint set because they have common elements, which is in 4, 5, and 6. And that concludes our session for today. See you in our next quest. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more exciting lessons, and hit the notification bell. Until next time, keep exploring and unleashing the magic of mathematics.